Good morning, Dimple Crew. So today, I want to let you know, I will be making a Hennessy cake. So let's give a little background on Hennessy cake. I remember a rum cake growing up, but now the whole big thing is about a Hennessy cake. And I'm like, okay, it got to be like a rum cake. We're just changing out the liquor a little bit. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you the easy way of making this Hennessy cake. Because I've been looking at a lot of different videos, and people have been doing the most. Now, if you have not seen my video from last week, I show you how to make a cake from scratch featuring my aunt. She was the one teaching everybody, giving tricks on how to make this cake the long way. Now, I'm going to show you how to make this cake the shorter way, the easy way, the easy to do it way, which normally is what I do on my channel. So, if you're interested in making a Hennessy cake, follow along. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and share, and watch the whole video. Because, I mean, if you don't watch the whole video to baking a Hennessy cake, you're going to miss something, and then your cake is going to be totally, completely done for. I mean, nobody's going to eat it. It's going to be hard. It's going to be nasty. So, thank you, and thank you for tuning in, and I am Dimples, and this is Indulge Your Dimples. So, let's get to it, guys. Alright guys, so like I told you in the intro, um, we're just going to make a simple Hennessy cake that is popular right now and I just want to make sure y'all have the best quality of this cake and I'm just going to give you the rundown of everything that you need. Minus this. So, the ingredients that you need, I'm going to break it in two parts. For the crust or the Hennessy glaze, which you're going to actually need, um, you're going to need some slices of pineapple. Um, I use a slice of pineapple. You can use whatever name brand you want because here we use what we want to use. Besides that, you're going to need some brown sugar. This is some brown sugar here. You're going to need the alcohol to the party, which is Hennessy. Uh, whatever type of Hennessy that you like to drink is different types. You can get that. You're going to need some mascarpone cherries. You also are going to need a stick of butter, which is a half a cup, and it needs to be melted at room temperature. You're going to need a liquid measuring cup, and you're also going to need just a glass bowl or bowl to mix all this in. Now, to make the cake batter, like I said, this is semi-homemade, semi-store-bought. I got you. So, the ingredients that you need. Now, if you didn't watch my video from last week, we show you how to make a cake from scratch. That is a basic on making a cake from scratch but I like to use this type of cake mixture uh, flour when I'm making a cake because it already has the uh, flour in here it has the um, baking powder in here it has the salt it has everything in here so all you have to do is just measure it out and go ahead about your business this is if you want to make a plain cake and add your own flavors to it instead of buying like Dunkin or all the other cake mixtures that have their own flavor so you're going to need this cake box mixture, or you can do it from scratch. Look at the other videos. You're going to need three cups of sugar, fine granulated sugar. You're going to need um, three sticks of butter. Each stick is a half a cup, so you're going to need um, a cup and a half, so three sticks. And you're going to need six eggs. Everything in this bowl needs to be room temperature. You're also going to need some spray and butter because we need to grease our pan with this. And you're going to need some crushed pineapples because this pineapple upside down Hennessy K is going to have all the fixings that you need. And you're going to need some vanilla extract, okay? Now, for the material that's going to need be needed in this recipe, you're going to need um, a big old spoon. You can use a hand mixture. You're going to need some measuring cups, a half a cup and a whole cup. You're going to need a sifter because you have to sift the flour out. You're also going to need about <clears throat> two to three bowls as such. And you're going to need like a little baster brusher because I'm going to show you how we're going to get more Hennessy flavor in this cake. So, first thing first, let's go ahead and get to mixing the cake mixture up. And also, there's two types of pans that you can use for this. I'm going to use a bunt pan. Um, I like this because it doesn't pop out. And then when we put the liquid base in there, it's going to make sure it's crust. It's going to be really nice and it's not going to leak through. But if you choose to use like a skillet, that's the old school to make an upside down cake, you can do that as well. Or you can use a pop out pan like this. Only thing that... I wouldn't use this pan for this recipe because it pops out and clearly the liquid. So um, the, some of the liquid will fall out at the bottom, but we don't want that. So I will use this more if I'm just using a regular cake. But for what we're going to do today, we're going to use this type of pan. 
and you can find these at any store and right now they should be on sale like $3.99 so go ahead and get that and they have fancy designs on the bottom part so you can always find whatever design you choose to have in your cake all right guys so let's go ahead and make this cake mixture so typically what you want to do I'm going to use a hand blender just to start out and the first thing you need to do is cream the butter so you're going to add your three sticks of unsalted butter to your bowl make sure you save these wrappers because what you're going to do is actually later on you're going to take these wrappers and grease your pan because it has to be really really greased so that this cake just falls out perfectly Now you can use this using your spoon and just cream it or you can go ahead and do what I'm going to do and I'm just going to use a hand blender to blend this up so we can cream it a little faster. like whipped butter that's what you're looking for and make sure you have a spatula too because during this process we need to make sure we get everything on the side of the boat in the bottom and mix it up now you want to make sure your eggs are at room temperature you have six eggs and you're going to add one egg at a time and cream it in with the butter make sure that the egg doesn't have any yellow like spotches in there and make sure it doesn't have any red dots meaning like little blood dots if it does you do not want to use that egg and if you're not for sure if you have good eggs fresh eggs are really better than you know eggs from the store but if you're not sure about looking at an egg and you need to put it in a bowl and then crack it in there so let's go ahead and put each egg one at a time and blend it you want to start adding your sugar the three cups of sugar that we have you want to go ahead and add that in little by little so probably in thirds so I'm just gonna add a third in and this is when the creaming or the whipping gets involved the last third of the sugar I'm going to take my spatula and just clean around the bowl and the bottom and fold it over so we make sure that we have all our sugar and our eggs and butter in here and we're going to keep whipping it until it's very smooth and it's just delightful
at this point I'm gonna get my spatula again I got like a little bit going on get my spatula and go around the bow and I'm gonna fold it in it should be smooth it should look like icing um, it should be really fluffy it shouldn't be heavy or dense at all it should be really light and airy meaning that your cake is going to be beautiful when you put it in there and I'm telling you guys this smell like just good butter like this it smells like good some goodness you would eat to gain like 10 or 20 pounds so this is what it should look like with the butter the cream creamed all up so the butter the sugar and the eggs it should be very soft and fluffy and it should look like this so now we're going to set this aside and we're going to get another bowl right here and at this point we're going to start sifting uh, excuse me we're gonna start sifting our um, flour at this point we're gonna get a clean bowl and we're gonna need to sift three cups of flour and you can use um, your own homemade all-purpose baking soda salt and a little bit of cornstarch or you can go ahead and get this box that I was telling you about which is such ease and simple and you need a measuring cup and you need one full cup okay so let's go ahead and get three cups. Make sure you sift it before you pour it into your batter. Our last cup so this process is not that hard it's not that long and the purpose of sifting this is making sure you don't have any clumps and lumps in your cake and to make sure it's smooth now I'm gonna show you when I get done with this last sift what actually it looks like when I didn't if you do not sift it what it actually looks like because you still do have like little clumps left over in the cake so when you pour it in your cup this is what it looks like and this is not what you want to pour in your cake batter so that's why you poured it in this sift right here and you actually shake it so you can get the little fine flour instead of getting crumbs now at the end of this I'm going to show you what it looks like with these big clumps in there and if you don't do this this is what your cake can have in there and then when somebody take a bite of your cake it's not really smooth and silky because you have these clumps in there and that's the clumps I'm talking about right there and that's what you don't want in there so that's why you sift your cake and just make sure you get all that out of there and then once you do it's done voila all right so you just want to make sure you keep this out because you're just going to need a little bit more when you fill out your cake batter, your cake pan, so that everything come out really nice and simple. So at this point, what we're going to do, we have our wet ingredient, which is like a thick wet ingredient, and then we have our flour. You're going to add two tablespoons of vanilla extract. If you have butter extract, you can add that in there as well. And I'm just eyeballing this okay I'm, I'm, I'm eyeball it but you want to measure it out and when you measure it out it's going to come out really really nice everything cream together so i did half and half of each you're going to need heavy whipping cream you can use the whole pint if you want to or you can use evaporating milk but i did half and half of each in my little cup right here and all i'm going to do is just add it into my wet mixture and i'm going to take a whisk and just whisk that in there really really good and then from there we're going to start mixing in our dry ingredients with our wet ingredients now the next thing you want to go ahead and do before we start mixing this you want to go ahead and open your can up and drain your crushed pineapples because we're going to put a little bit of crushed pineapples into our batter but we're not going to put any juice in there because this cake does not need to be wet like any other cake so I'm going to show you how to do that after the fact but for right now you just want to open up drain it and then when we get done doing this I'll show you how we're going to add that in there what you want to do you can hand mix this 
to start off with because you do not want to over mix it. If you over mix it, then your cake is not going to come out like you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and take my blender hand mixer for the last time and mix in this vanilla into our wet batter. And then I'm going to use this big spoon and I'm going to do a third of the dry ingredients in here and I'm going to mix it and then I'm going to do it again, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. And we're just going to get the side of the bowl, scrape it in the bottom, fold it in. Again, it should be airy, it should be light, it should smell like butter with the vanilla in there. Make you a little well in the middle, like so. Make a little well in the middle. And we're going to add a third of this flour into our so-called wet batter. And I'm going to take my big spoon and I'm actually going to hand stir it because I, again, do not want this to be over mixed. Because if it's over mixed, then your cake is going to come out a little tough. your second portion of the flour make sure the first portion is actually mixed in so you don't see any white flour if you do you need to continue to mix it or stir it just a little bit so it can combine and then add the next portion of the flour in here stir it up and repeat until you're done adding your flour and the purpose of doing your mixture this way is to make sure that you don't over mix your cake batter. You're going to have a little flour that flies out but at the end of the day it's not going to be that much of a mess going on. And then once we get done doing this portion of mixing, we're going to go ahead and add in a little bit of our crushed pineapple. So I want to say I'm going to add about a fourth cup. Of that crushed pineapple in here. You're not going to add the whole thing because once again we don't want a wet batter. Okay. So let's finish mixing this. And add the last end like so. And we just got we just got a little mess, not a big mess not a big deal and I'm not whisking this like really really fast or mixing it really fast I'm just taking big scoops from the bottom to the side and I'm actually folding it into the cake so that's what you want to do just fold it into the cake mixture and you will see that your cake batter is going to start changing the consistency of how it was. So first it was like a, a whipped cream type butter situation and now you can see that it looks like a thick cake batter but if you're folding your flour in then you will see that it's not hard to fold in. It's not really heavy. It's just like a medium type of resistance to this cake and that's what you want. Alright so continue to finish this up. Now you will get some muscles in your arms. And I think it's best to do it like this instead of using the hand blender or a mixer because if you're doing that and you're really not paying attention and you keep going because you still see like a little bit of flour, you can over mix it and that's not what you want to do. Okay. So counterclockwise, clockwise a couple times and everything should be mixed in you should not have any flour or any butter at the bottom of your pan or your bowl when you're mixing this and i'm going to mix this a couple more times and i tell you i think your girl got it okay and i'm gonna get these sides because i know i got flour is hanging on the side right here all right so that's that for right now and this is how it should look real nice 
heavy. Now, remember I told you before we start mixing, drain your crushed pineapples. We're going to use a fourth cup of these crushed pineapples in this situation. Because we do not want any juice in these. So you just want to smash it down a little bit and go ahead and add you about a fourth cup. This is like a fourth cup. And I'm just going to drop that in to our cake batter. And I'm going to mix it up. Again, do not add any other pineapple juice in here because this does not supposed to be a wet batter. And you just want to mix this about three or four times in here. Make sure it is consistent throughout the cake. No one has like a chunk of anything. Now when I come back, I'm going to clean up this mess and I'm going to show you how we're going to make our Hennessy glaze that's going to be infused in the cake. And then we're going to put this cake together and it's going to be the bomb. So be right back. Let me clean up this mess, guys. Cleaned up. I realized I had like a lot going on with that flour, but we're back. So now we're going to do our topping for the Hennessy infused part. So like I said, get a bunch pan. I used that leftover wrapping, the butter wraps, and I went and just went in here and went real, real crazy. And it's really, um, this is a non-stick pan, but don't trust that. Make sure you put some extra butter in there. Also, I'm going to go ahead and spray it as well. Make sure you spray this over a sink or a can so nobody do any slips and falls. And get it really good. And this is butter flavor, so make sure you get butter flavor, not canola. Um, we're trying to make this rich. We're trying to make it good and gooey. Make sure you go around that little part that um, the stem, I'm going to call it, which I don't know what it's actually called, but make sure you go around there because that's the part that's always sticking and having problems. Now, remember I told you you're going to need a little bit of flour. Um, if you're doing homemade, you need a little bit of that AP flour. If you are doing... Um, the cake flour, you just need a teaspoon of that flour, right, like that, and just sprinkle it in here, okay, just like so, and you're just going to take your pan, and this is old school, and you're just going to shake it, shimmy, shimmy, shake it all around this thing, make sure you go over the sink, or, because you know, I'm constantly making a mess, the sink or the trash can, so let me go ahead and do that right quick. And any excess flour, you just want to go ahead and shake it out of your pan in the trash. So sit that aside once you get done with that little project. So you need that one stick of butter that we melted in the microwave. And you need a pack, half a cup of dark brown sugar. Light brown is cool, but the dark brown, it gives you that, uh, the richness. Okay? And you're going to go ahead and dump that in there. Also, you're going to go ahead and get you a fourth cup of whatever liquor that you like. I'm going to use this Hennessy and get you a measuring cup, a liquid measuring cup, which looks like this. And we're going to sit it down right there. And I'm just going to pour a fourth cup of that in here. Okay. We're going to move this out the way. And we're going to put that inside of our brown sugar and butter mixture. Go ahead and get you a nice little spoon and break this down and mix it up. Maybe like a shot in there, you know, a shot and a half, depending on how you want to do it. And mix that up in here. Now, the next thing I want to tell you, you need to take your sliced pineapples that I have right here. And you just want to drain them, which I already drained. And I actually set them aside. And then you're going to need to open up your mascarpone cherries. I think I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, you know what I'm talking about. I'm showing the picture here. And these sliced pineapples have a um, hole in the middle. So what you're actually going to do is just after you put your liquid Hennessy mixture into your pan you're going to put your pineapples in there and in the middle of your pineapples with the holes you're going to put your cherries in there and then we're going to pour our cake batter on top let it sit bounce out some of them air bubbles and you want to put your oven on at this time at 375 this cake will bake for an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 30 depending on how fast and hot your oven is 
Now, one thing I want to tell you, when it comes to an hour and 15 minutes, you want to check it. You want to take like a wooden spoon. I have one I'm going to show you later on. And you can stick it in the thickest part of the cake, which is like in the middle of the cake. And if it comes out clean, baby, it's done. You want to take it out and let it cool. And that is the important part. You want to take it out and let it cool. Because everything is going to combine, be cool, get really, really good. And like probably after like five or six minutes of it cooling, what you want to do is go ahead and get this brush that you have right here. And brush a little bit of that Hennessy on the cake so that it has that infused flavor. Now this, you can smell it. Really, really strong. You can smell it. So I have this going on. I have all the brown chunks out of here. Make sure it's nothing at the bottom. And it should look just like this. You're going to take your pan, like I was telling you, and you want to pour that Hennessy wet mixture in the bottom of the pan. Like so. And make sure you have this on an even um, tabletop so you can get all of your mixture in there so I'm gonna make sure I get all this in there like so that's why you need a spatula a spatula does wonders then you're gonna take your pineapple and you're gonna sit them in here really really nice and beautiful get as many as you possibly can in here and just layer them in there and I think this probably takes about um, eight of them. Yep, right on the money. Eight of them went in here. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can go ahead and add some on the side of the walls, but I don't have enough for that. And then you want to open these up and just add the cherries in the middle. Now make sure you get the ones without the stem. Alright, so I'm going to tilt my camera down so you can see what I'm talking about. And I said add the cherries in here. Oops. So yeah, so that's all I did. I just added them in there. Like so. So I put the Hennessy liquid down, which is brown sugar, butter, and the Hennessy. And then I put the pineapples in there in a nice decorative way. And then I put the cherries in between and in the middle of the pineapples. So all we're going to do now is get this one last stir and we're going to add that into our cake mixture, okay? And again, make sure you have your oven on at 375 preheating so that you can add your cake into the oven. And you just want to add spoons full so that it's going to be covering up the cake. Just like so. So when I come back, I'm going to show y'all the final result of this cake. It is going to be beautiful. It's going to taste really good. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to add just a little bit more of liquor to the cake. So that the cake is very Hennessy tasty, but it's not like over the top. Since this is a popular cake with everybody now. And they're just making it more difficult than it actually needs to be. 
so all right guys so when i come back i'm gonna show you this is how the cake looks make sure you just pop some air bubbles out of it and i'm just gonna cover that up with my spatula and put this in the oven be right back all right so we took the cake out at an hour and 15 minutes because it's getting real nice and golden brown this is the little wooden spoon i was talking about or a stick and you can stick it in there and it's clean and I'm going to stick it in the cake, somewhere in the cake, stick it out at the bottom, take it out. And if it come out clean like that, voila, it's done. So the second and last, well the third and last final step, you're going to take some of your liquor that you've been using, put it in a little cup bowl, something, and take your little brush and you just want to go ahead and brush it. So I'm going to brush the bottom part so the bottom can have like a nice little flavor because I want you to finish eating the cake. I have a plate. Now this is this is where it comes out to be if it's the truth or not. I'm gonna put this plate on top of this cake right here. I'm gonna get me uh, some pot holders, and I'm just gonna slide this over for y'all right here. And this is just another cake. It doesn't have any um, liquor or anything, and it's just a regular pineapple cake. Okay, we're gonna pray. We're gonna pray. We're gonna make sure this come out right, and we're gonna flip it. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? Am I? I'm ready. Let's flip this cake over. I got to go right quick. So I'm going to let it sit. Just let it sit. Don't, don't try to take the top off quite yet. If you hear it drop, then it has fallen. I'm just tapping it, tapping it, tapping it. <clears throat> if you hear it drop, then don't worry about it falling. Because it already fell out. I don't know if mine fell out or not. <sighs> Give it a little magic. Give it a little magic. I'm going to see. Tilt one side up and see. Yeah, okay, okay. Easy, easy. I got nails on, okay? Okay. Come right up it just a little bit. Are y'all ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Ah, that's cute. Well, we missing two pineapples, so we're gonna help and throw that on there right quick. Ah, that came out pretty. Okay. So you can just stick that pineapple right on. They ain't even gonna know. Look at that. Guess what? This pineapple go right here. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Butter the pan. Yeah. Boom. That is pretty. Came out real good. Look at that. Alright, so. Final step. You're going to take a little bit of liquor. And you're just going to brush it on top. Brush it in cake, brush it on top, brush it around, let it cool, do not cut into it. This is going to be beautiful. Alright, I only, I only took like a tablespoon. I didn't go overboard and do a lot. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that, y'all. Beautiful. All the way around. Not just half, but all. Alright, we did a good job. <laughs>